Welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into one of the most advanced, powerful, and iconic fighter jets ever built, the Eurofighter Typhoon. This aircraft is a true symbol of European engineering excellence, a joint project born out of collaboration between several of Europe's strongest aerospace nations, and a jet that continues to dominate the skies with cutting-edge performance and unmatched versatility. When people talk about modern fighter aircraft, especially 4th generation and 4.5 generation jets, the Eurofighter Typhoon is always near the top of the list. It represents the pride of European aerospace industries, a multi-role fighter designed not only for air superiority but also for precision strike, reconnaissance, and close air support. And for defense enthusiasts like us, it's also fascinating to look at the price tag, because each Eurofighter Typhoon is worth hundreds of millions of US dollars depending on configuration and upgrades. Let's start from the beginning. The Eurofighter Typhoon is the result of decades of development, stretching back to the late 1970s and early 1980s. During that time, NATO nations recognized that they needed a next-generation fighter to counter emerging Soviet aircraft such as the MiG-29 Fulcrum and the Su-27 Flanker. The United States was already working on jets like the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, and eventually the F-22 Raptor, but Europe wanted to establish its own independent aerospace industry and not rely entirely on American jets. So the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain came together to create what would eventually become the Eurofighter Typhoon. The project was ambitious. Multiple countries with different requirements, different political agendas, and different defense industries all needed to work together. This wasn't just about building a fighter jet, it was about uniting European defense under a common platform. The result was the Eurofighter program, with contributions from base systems in the UK, Airbus Defence and Space in Germany and Spain, and Leonardo in Italy. The first prototype took to the skies in 1994, and after years of testing and adjustments, the Typhoon entered service in 2003. Now let's talk about what makes this jet so special. The Eurofighter Typhoon is classified as a twin-engine, canard delta-wing, multirole fighter. That means it has a highly maneuverable design with forward canards that provide incredible agility and control, especially at high angles of attack. The delta wing configuration allows it to sustain supersonic speeds while remaining stable. Together, these design choices give the Typhoon one of the best dogfighting capabilities in the world. Powering this beast are two Eurojet EJ200 turbofan engines, each capable of producing 20,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner. With a top speed of Mach 2 and a service ceiling of over 55,000 feet, the Typhoon is built for speed and altitude dominance. Even more impressive is its thrust-to-weight ratio, which allows it to accelerate like a rocket and sustain energy in close combat. In terms of avionics, the Eurofighter Typhoon features some of the most advanced systems in the world. Its cockpit is built around a glass display system with voice controls and a helmet-mounted sight. This allows pilots to lock onto targets simply by looking at them, drastically reducing reaction times in combat. The Typhoon's radar, originally the Captor M mechanically scanned array, has been upgraded to the Captor EAESA radar, giving it incredible detection range and the ability to track multiple targets at once. Weapons are another major highlight. The Eurofighter Typhoon is armed with a wide array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. For dogfights, it carries Iris T and AIM-132 ASRAAM. Short-range missiles. For beyond visual range combat, it can be equipped with the Meteor missile, which is considered one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles in the world, with a range of over 100 miles and a ramjet propulsion system that maintains high energy even in the final phase of flight. For ground attack missions, it can deploy Paveway laser guided bombs, Storm Shadow cruise missiles, Brimstone anti-tank missiles, and even nuclear weapons if required by NATO missions. The Typhoon also carries a 27mm Mauser internal cannon for close-in engagements. One of the things that sets the Eurofighter Typhoon apart from older jets is its multi-role flexibility. Unlike earlier generations where fighters were either designed for air superiority or ground attack, the Typhoon was designed from the beginning to do both. It can switch roles mid-mission, allowing it to engage enemy aircraft, bomb ground targets, and provide reconnaissance support all in a single sortie. This makes it extremely valuable for modern warfare, where flexibility and speed of response are critical. 
Now let's discuss the cost, because that's something my viewers are always curious about. The Eurofighter Typhoon is not a cheap aircraft by any means. Depending on the version and country, the unit cost is estimated between 120 million to 150 million US dollars. That's just for the aircraft itself. When you include training, spare parts, maintenance, and weapons packages, the total cost can go as high as 200 million dollars per aircraft. To put that into perspective, that's about the same as the American F-35 Lightning II. For countries that operate it, the Typhoon represents not just a purchase, but a massive long-term investment in defense capability. Operating costs are also significant. On average, flying the Typhoon costs between 15,000 and 20,000 US dollars per flight hour. Compare that to the F-16, which costs around $8,000 per hour, or the F-35, which costs around $35,000 per hour, and you can see where the Typhoon sits in terms of affordability. It's not the cheapest, but it's also not the most expensive, making it a middle ground for nations that want a high-end fighter without going all in on stealth platforms. The Eurofighter Typhoon has been exported to several countries, including Saudi Arabia, Austria, Oman, Kuwait, and Qatar. Each of these deals runs into the billions of dollars. For example, Saudi Arabia's deal for 72 typhoons was worth about 7.5 billion US dollars. Kuwait's deal for 28 typhoons was worth around $8.7 billion because it included advanced avionics and support. These numbers give you a sense of just how valuable and expensive the typhoon program is. In combat, the Eurofighter typhoon has proven itself in multiple theaters. It has flown missions over Libya, Syria, and Iraq as part of NATO and coalition operations. The jet has been used for both air superiority and precision strike missions, often operating alongside American F-15s, F-16s, and F-35s. Pilots consistently praise the Typhoon for its speed, maneuverability, and advanced targeting systems. Another important aspect of the Typhoon is how it has evolved over time. The jet has gone through multiple upgrades, often referred to as Tranche 1, Tranche 2, and Tranche 3. Each tranche introduces new capabilities, from better avionics and software to more advanced weapons integration and increased airframe lifespan. Today, the latest Typhoons are among the most capable non-stealth fighters in the world, and with continuous upgrades planned, the aircraft will remain in service until at least 2040. Looking to the future, the Eurofighter Typhoon also plays a critical role as a stepping stone toward Europe's sixth-generation fighter program, the Future Combat Air. System FCAS being developed by Germany, France, and Spain, as well as the UK's Tempest project. The experience gained from designing, building, and operating the Typhoon is directly shaping the next generation of European air power. For the United States audience, it's interesting to compare the Typhoon with American jets. While the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II dominate in stealth technology, the Typhoon still holds its ground with raw speed, agility, and weapons performance. In exercises like Red Flag, Typhoons have shown they can challenge even the most advanced American jets, especially in within visual range dogfights. But again, the cost factor cannot be ignored. With a price tag of around 130 million US dollars per jet, not including lifetime support, the Typhoon is a major investment. Yet for nations that buy it, they are getting one of the finest 4.5 generation fighters in existence, an aircraft that combines European innovation, battlefield versatility, and combat proven performance. So, when we talk about the Eurofighter Typhoon, we're not just talking about a jet, we're talking about a symbol of multinational cooperation.